So you keep having this popping noise and you're coming through your audio and you can't figure out what it is. You don't know what it is at all. We've been having the same issue actually. And um, at first it was maybe once a week or so, and now it's just gotten progressively worse. Um, sometimes it happens, you know, six or seven times during service. And what we're trying to do is figure out exactly how to take care of this issue. Alan and Heath released an update, uh, version 1.5.0, and something between that firmware and the actual soundboard itself relaying information, um, somehow that is causing the pop. This is a moderator um, from Alan and Heath's community, and basically uh, it's chalked up to, you know, they've gotten to the bottom of the issue, they're working on a fix, the fix has been there, it's updated and released. Um, but yes, you will have to put this one down as a trade secret. I can confirm it's completely related to the V1.5.0 release and only presented on a small number of units, however. So, with that being said, they are not going to tell us why, but we do know that it's an issue and that it is fixed. So thank you, Alan and Heath, for taking care of this problem. But since then, they've released three updates, I believe. The latest one is version 1.5.3. Um, I will, let's just look on the computer and I'll show you exactly where to get it. Okay, so what I've done is I put the link to this site. You can either type all this in or go down in the comments section below, uh, click the link. It's going to take you here if you have the SQ6. Um, this is the SQ firmware update. Um, Actually, I think it works for more than just the SQ6. It looks like you can see all the different releases here. But we have the SQ6, so I'm going to click on SQ6, and it's got the, the latest release is 1.5.3. But I'm having an issue with my, uh, with my SQ6 actually taking the update. See, the problem that I'm having is if you look right there, it says SQ version 1.5.0 okay and if you go into your utility screen here and you look at your firmware version see on firmware version it says 1.5.0 release uh, 3883 okay on this thumb drive I just put in the new version 1.5.3 um, I'm gonna take this stick out the best thing to do is to get a new uh, thumb drive. Uh, there's, If you don't have one, there's a link to one below. You don't need one very big. You can either take a new one or one that you already have. That would probably be the best option if you already have one. Make sure you delete or save all the files off of it that you want and then delete everything off of it. Uh, don't format it to your computer. Just delete the files off of it. But take your thumb drive plug it into your USB port here. You'll see the light flash below. You'll know that it's active. Okay, you see version 1.5.0 right there. That's your current firmware version. What you're gonna wanna do with your USB plugged in is select utility. Utility right here with the green light, and then click on USB utility. And uh, for some reason, it's not giving me the option. Let me just unplug this and plug it back in. There we go. Now it's ready. So I'm going to just tap format. It's going to ask if I'm sure. Yes. Okay. So when it's done formatting, it will say that it's ready and complete. So you can go ahead and pull that back out and it's ready to stick into your computer. Let's jump on the computer real fast. Okay, so now we're gonna put our thumb drive back in our computer and you will see as it pops up here. Okay, it's not popping up. Let's go here. All right, see it popped up. So um, you can see it's a AHSQ. Um, these are like some of your uh, user files and stuff like that. But what you're going to do is follow the link that I provided here. 
Um, see, what I did was downloaded version 1.5.3, and I'm trying to jump from 1.5.0 directly to 1.5.3. I would like to think that it updated or that it would update to this new version, but I'm almost wondering if I have to update to this previous version first and then update to this version um, because it's not taking the 1.5.3. It looks and appears like it is, but it's just not taking it. So what I'm going to do is click on this here, 1.5.2, and accept and download. Let's go into our downloads folder. Oops. Let's open up downloads. Come on. And here it is here. Okay, you can also tell in the name right here, it shows 1.5.2 release 3947. Let's make sure that works. And what you want to do is just take this bin file. Don't open it. Don't do anything else. You don't need to worry about this stuff unless you just want to read the instructions. I'm pretty much telling you exactly what they're saying to do. Take this and drop it into here directly onto the thumb drive. Don't put it into any of the files, any of the folders. Okay, so now you can see that's loaded on my thumb drive. I'm gonna go ahead and eject that thumb drive. Safe to remove the hardware. So I'm gonna pull that out. And we can go ahead and close this. All right, so I got the new version here. I'm gonna plug this guy in. Um, let me actually go back to the home screen. I'm gonna plug this guy in. And what we should do from here is go to utility you're going to go to firmware update and it's going to say it has a new version available our current version down below 1.5.0 new version 1.5.2 okay you're going to select update it's going to tell you that your audio is going to be muted mixer will be locked do not unplug the usb device or remove power uh yes and we're going to press restart when this is done so what it's going to look like is it's going to take a little bit not too long I won't make you watch the whole thing but it's gonna erase everything and then rewrite the new firmware uh, and then that button that says restart will be illuminated and we can restart the system what I'm hoping is that after updating to the 1.5.2 is that I'll actually be able to update to the 1.5.3 so I was told that the ver version 1.5.3 will take care of the popping noise. That they should have all that stuff fixed, all the bugs fixed in the firmware in that latest update. And as you can see the time, it does take a little bit of time. If you're trying to do this on a Sunday morning prior to service, I don't think I would do that. Do this definitely before. Um, and also it doesn't erase any of our settings or anything like that. Um, you can see it keeps all of our settings, all of our presets and all that kind of stuff. Nothing changed. Uh, it's just a firmware update, so you don't have to worry about losing your information. Now that the erasing is done, it's writing the new firmware on. Um, and it shows our new version down below, version 1.5.2. Okay, so it's done. All in all, it took, you know, maybe under five minutes. I'm seeing USB device removed it's not it's just sitting there still but uh, that must be because it's completed and that's what its way of telling us that there that it's done but i'm going to go ahead and hit restart and it starts shutting down you can kind of see everything cycles through now when it powers back up and you see the home screen illuminate um, you should see the newest updated version below sq and that is not happening and if you go into utility and check your latest release, it still says firmware version 1.5.0 R3883. That is wrong. That's incorrect. That is not what I loaded. And I'm sure that you're here watching this video because you're having the same issue. So what I was told was to, um, if this happens, is to go ahead and re-download like a fresh version of that software. Um, and so what I did is I... Went to the website, I'm gonna do version 1.5.3. 
I've also got a new thumb drive here. This is a headless Olaf, but um, I'm gonna try just using a different USB stick. Maybe there's something odd about this one. Let me open up my thumb drive, get another file explorer open, and I'm gonna go to my recent downloads. Here is 1.5.3. Go ahead and take this firmware file and put it right on the root of this thumb drive. This is Olaf that we're dealing with now. And I want to see how it works out, see if changing the thumb drive helps. Maybe there's something wrong with this, uh, with the original one that I had. And again, neither one of these thumb drives are brand new. So if this doesn't work, then, you know, possibly the problem is that it is not a new thumb drive, but it's supposed to work as long as that thumb drive is formatted to the SQ. Okay, let's check it out. So I got Olaf in there now. Uh, we are gonna try, I'm gonna format that USB drive. It's formatting Olaf. This one seems to be taking longer than the other one. That's odd. Okay, well that is different. Not saying it's in use. Let's try it again. Interesting. Maybe there's something wrong with the USB port, which is why I'm getting maybe a corrupted file or it's just not yet. See the USB flashing again? I don't know if that actually formatted. Let's see. Watch this corner up here. Uh, it says ready. So the true test will be when you pull it out and put it into the laptop, if it will show asking if I want to update if it noticed it recognized the new version 1.5.3 and we are currently erasing um, erasing the firmware that is on this mixer right now so that is what is happening and once it finishes erasing the firmware it should write the new updated firmware version on it and then we restart it and it should work. Now, <clears throat> unfortunately I didn't get this on video, but before it just said erasing and then went to a bar that said writing. And then that was it, it popped up to this and then said restart. Well, this last time it said checking and it had a, stat a progress bar that said checking and it went all the way through and now it says success and restart. I don't, I don't think it said, it never said that before. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit restart. And now it's gonna shut the board down and do a full restart. Here we go, true test. Boom, SQ version 1.5.3. So if you go into utility, it's gonna show Firmware version 1.5.3 R3957. So I know all this stuff gets frustrating, but sometimes you just have to have some patience and really, you know, look around and dig deep in the internet or the interweb and find out how to fix all this stuff. Um, it takes some Google searches. I've been here for three hours trying to figure this out, why this won't work. So what I've done for you is actually put this all on video so you don't have to search around for three hours. Hopefully you find this video helpful. If you do share it, um, like this video. And if you like the content and like the troubleshooting and other stuff that we bring uh, to the table, then please subscribe to this channel. Um, it really helps if you guys subscribe and hit that little bell notification because that's gonna notify you of when I release new videos. And hopefully we have some stuff here um, that is going to help you guys get through some of the problems that you're going to have 
live streaming um, and maybe some of your sound and audio equipment and uh, even stuff up on the stage as well. Let's just recap. What we did was I first started out with this thumb drive here, okay? And I went to the website that is in the link below, the description below, uh, downloaded the latest version of the firmware, which was 1.5.3, put this thumb drive in the SQ6 right here and formatted this thumb drive. Uh, and what I did was format it to the SQ system. So then I ejected this, put it into our laptop and put the bin file, only the bin file on the direct root uh, of this stick, which is basically no files, no, no, not inside of the folders or anything. You just put it right on the root and uh, copy and paste that bin file into this thumb drive. And then you can safely remove or eject this thumb drive and then reinsert it into here, okay? That wasn't working with this thumb drive. For some reason, it was not working. Um, what I did notice also is that um, up on the, let me flip this around. Up here on this top right corner, I noticed that was letting me know, identifying that my thumb drive is active. Um, I noticed that flashing a couple times. So it was probably having um, an issue communicating with, with the soundboard. This is probably just a bad USB drive or um, you know, storage device. I'm probably just not gonna use it um, or store anything import, super important on it. But before you get kind of carried away and try and you know get upset and just say stuff's not working and and you know freak out, if you have another thumb drive, try that one. Like I said, brand new is probably the way to go, and then you just have a um, dedicated thumb drive for your firmware updates on the SQ. There's also some file folders and settings, uh, save you know changes that you can save on the SQ as well, and just store those on that thumb drive only and then um you won't have to worry about it you have a dedicated one they even have a cool like allen and heath lanyard i'll just put the links to those uh in the description below and you can have yourself like a pretty cool setup um but for me you know and you guys if it works find a um a thumb drive that maybe you're not using find one that you know works and doesn't have any communication errors um and just you know format that one to the sq6 so once you find a thumb drive that works, this thing's gonna work. It's gonna work. And if not, then you can just contact support, um, just contact support through Allen and Heath and they will get you going. I'll provide that link down below as well. But for now, this should, this should be your fix. You just, you, you wanna get rid of that popping sound. Um, now what I'm gonna do is turn on our stage sound and all that, and I'm gonna sit here for an hour at least and make sure um, I don't hear any popping because I don't want to hear any popping on Sunday, um, especially when it's really quiet and the pastor's talking and then you get loud popping noises that kind of startle people. I mean, it's funny because it wakes them up, but at the same time, we don't, you don't want that. So um, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, if you did find this video useful, please like and share, uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification icon um, get alerted uh, when we come out with new videos and I am basically um, live stream audio video kind of stuff is what we're going to be posting anything to help you through uh, live streaming media and also not not necessarily just that but maybe things that will help you um, build an online presence it could be an online business or um, just helping build an online presence in your community around your niche. So if you think you'll find any of that useful, like I said, subscribe, and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks.